and I do think that the uh, probability or the, uh, of uh, falling into a bear market and indeed a recession has has undeniably increased as a result of Friday's um, punch in the gut in a way, really. I mean, there was very, very little uh, good in that inflation report. Clearly, inflation is not peaked uh, and it's broadened um, quite uh, quite widely to all sorts of areas. Uh, most uh, you know, most saliently, I think, is, is, is rent as well, which Karen just touched on. It's, it's talked about less in the, you know, in, in, the, in the sex and violence of oil and commodity prices and, and other things. But actually, rent is very sticky and it's a huge part of the index. And, it's, um, and there's, there seems to be upward momentum there as well, implying that inflation is going to be with us higher and longer than we expected even last week. Yeah, so the second part of the question, Fahad, was... Um... What do you investors do about this at the moment? Because, uh, as you know, there was uh, the argument, well, you buy equities because equities have, well, depending on which sector they're in, some ability to protect you from the worst of inflation. Um, clearly, as we see, um, asset prices fall in both bonds and equity markets. Um, having some income might be helpful to ameliorate the worst impact of the erosion of inflation on your cash holdings. What are you advising customers to do? Look, there's no perfect hedge to, to, to uh, you know, A, inflation and B, a coming recession, right? I mean, and that's really where, where we are right now, it appears. And, you know, the things that we have done is obviously we continue to have quite a high cash weighting and look to uh, deploy that cash to assets that we have, that we think are fundamentally, you know, long term, um, you know, they're good holdings. And we're looking to buy them at um, at attractive prices. And there's undeniable that in this entire wreckage, there will be plenty of gems. Um, we've increased our allocation to commodities. Well, we didn't have one uh, sort of when we began the year, but we added one um, a few months ago. We may be looking to add to that because clearly commodities are one area which is reasonably um, good at protecting uh, you from inflation over the long run. Um, and, uh, and if you are in the equity market, it's really hard to avoid the energy sector right now because there's clearly a huge structural undersupply uh, of oil and gas and energy equities are still cheap, believe it or not, in spite of a, a thunderous run up. And there's still room to run um, for, 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 uh, for, for, that, for that sector. But, I mean, um, Fahad, as we've seen many times over the years, uh, energy equities very often, or energy uh, prices, very often the last you to drop when we get a recession, and then they move violently. By adding commodities to your portfolio, and again, you said it's one of the areas where we're still seeing some areas of cheapness, aren't you adding volatility to the portfolio of your clients? Uh, of course you are, Steve. And as I, as I said, there's very few perfect hedges, right? I mean, th th that doesn't exist. We, we are trying to gain some... Um, uh, protection from inflation. It doesn't come for free. And energy equities, for example, are extremely volatile, even more so than the underlying commodities, which are also very volatile, um, which is why, you know, right now, when, when the storm is hard, sitting on uh, extended cash weight isn't a bad thing. Uh, obviously, there's high inflation and it's being eroded, but the nominal value stays exactly as it is. And in any sort of three month, six month, nine month period, uh, you can you can stomach that um, as as you know as opportunities emerge and they will undeniably emerge as they do in any period of high volatility such as right now where people tend to shed assets in a knee jerk reaction that are fundamentally uh, good assets and you'd want to hold for long term investors.